If we would like to represent this using a graph, on the x-axis we could put the time that it takes to write the prompt, on the y-axis the time that it takes to edit the abstract that is returned by ChatGPT. And clearly, as we invest more time writing the prompt, it's going to take less and less time in order to improve the abstract. If we consider the quality of the output, as we invest more time writing the prompt, then the quality of the output provided by ChatGPT is going to be higher. So in this video, I want to describe a method that allows you to find that sweet spot so that you can minimize the time that it takes to write the prompt, but at the same time, maximize the quality of the output that you receive. Before Hello everyone, as you know, the abstract is one of the most consequential sections of any paper. Specifically, the abstract is going to determine who are going to be the reviewers of your paper, because the editor of a journal or the conference organizers are going to read the abstract and see who is going to be the best fit to review that paper. Additionally, as the reviewers read the abstract, they're going to build a mindset to decide to accept and reject the paper right there from the beginning. And finally, once the paper is accepted and published, the, the people that are looking for a certain research area are going to find your paper and then reading the abstract, they're going to decide to read the entire paper or maybe just skip it because that is not what they were looking for. So it's extremely important that we write the abstract extremely carefully. Today, there are several tools available based on generative AI, such as ChatGPT or Gemini, that can easily draft an abstract for you. However, remember that the use of these tools is restricted and there are some regulations that I discuss in the video that is linked there above. However, if we decide to use these tools, we should still ask ourselves some questions on what is the best way of using them. Specifically, we should ask ourselves what is the quality of the output? So what is the quality of the abstract that we get out, let's say, from ChatGPT? And how much time does it take to edit this abstract and then make it ready to actually go in the paper to be submitted? Well, this has all to do with the quality of the prompt that you provide to, let's say, ChatGPT. We can identify two extreme approaches in designing the prompt. The first one is what I call the minimalist approach, in which we just provide ChatGPT with the title of the paper or a very brief description, and then they ask ChatGPT to design the abstract. So the advantage here is clearly you, it took really little time in order to design the prompt, and ChatGPT most likely is going to provide you a good structure. I've done something like this in a previous video, and you can find it linked above. However, most likely the content is going to be inaccurate and not reflect the actual content of your paper, since ChatGPT most likely is going to diverge in directions that are not reflective of what you're actually proposing. The other approach is the one of maximum effort, in which you write the entire abstract and then you give it to ChatGPT in order to refine it, provide some edits, improve the flow, improve the grammar, etc. So here, Clearly, it's going to be much more accurate. There is very little risk that ChatGPT is going to diverge in directions that do not reflect the content of your paper. However, it took you a very long time in order to write the prompt. If we would like to represent this using a graph, on the x-axis, we could put the time that it takes to write the prompt. On the y-axis, the time that it takes to edit the abstract that is returned by ChatGPT. And clearly, as we invest more time writing the prompt, it's going to take less and less time in order to improve the abstract returned by ChatGPT. If we consider the quality of the output that is provided by ChatGPT, as we invest more time writing the prompt, then the quality of the output provided by ChatGPT is going to be higher. So in this video, I want to describe a method that allows you to find that sweet spot so that you can minimize the time that it takes to write the prompt, but at the same time, maximize the quality of the output that you receive. Before we start, please make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel in order to help spreading this content. Thank you. The method is the following. So first, you should familiarize with the most important components of an abstract. The first one is, what is the problem that you are considering? The second one is, what are the current limitations of existing state-of-the-art solutions? The third one is, how does your approach work? So what is the technical contribution of your paper? And the last one, what is the summary of the results that you provide in this paper? And so you should write, in a bullet form list, very short sentences describing each of these components. Then you can easily design your prompt by asking ChatGPT to write an abstract of a scientific paper of no more, let's say, of 200 words, in case you have a space limitation, 
And then you say, in this paper, we, and you attach all the sentences that you have written before in valid form list. I'm going to provide you now an example of how this method works using ChatGPT. Here I'm considering a paper that we recently published at IEEE ICC conference, and the paper is titled High Precision Crop Monitoring Through UAP Aided Sensor Data Collection. So the paper has to do with collecting data using drones in an agricultural setting. Let's now write a sentence following each of those components that we have described before. So first, what is the problem? Sensor data collection across large-scale agricultural fields using unmanned aerial vehicles. Second, what are the limitations of existing solutions? So existing methods rely on collecting complete information, thus they are more expensive and inefficient. Then you should describe how your approach works. So here you can write a few valid points. In this case, for example, we wrote that we introduce an optimization problem in order to select a subset of the sensors. The name of this problem is Overing Point Selection. We prove that this problem is NP-hard. And given the sensors that are selected, we use machine learning in order to infer the readings of the sensors that are not selected. Since the problem is NP-hard, we propose an heuristic that is called drone and is an epsilon greedy heuristics. And we improve drone using another approach based on information theory that we called fast drone. So if you know the paper, it really shouldn't take too much time to write these few short sentences about your approach. Now you should summarize the results. And here, two things you should mention. The first one is how you did the results, and the second, how the results look like. So in this example, we say that we use both synthetic and real agricultural data. And then the results show a 3x improvement versus state-of-the-art solutions. We are finally now ready to ask ChatGPT to write our abstract. So, so here I asked to write an abstract of a scientific paper in 200 words, and then just like cut and paste what I've showed you before. This is the abstract provided by ChatGPT, but I don't want to read it to you yet because I think something is missing. And one thing that in the abstract we also should mention is why the problem that we are studying is important. And we didn't tell that to ChatGPT, but this is really something for which ChatGPT could help. So I ask another prompt to ChatGPT in order to modify this abstract just slightly. Specifically, I ask ChatGPT, can you add the importance of the problem at the beginning of the abstract? ChatGPT modified the abstract accordingly, and now let me read it to you and highlight the different components that we have previously identified. Effective sensor data collection in large agricultural field is crucial for optimizing crop management and increasing productivity. So this is why the problem is important. However, existing methods often rely on exhaustive data collection resulting in high costs and inefficiencies. These are the limits of existing state-of-the-art solutions. To address this pressing issue, we present a novel framework utilizing unmanned aerial vehicles for optimized sensor data collection. Our framework introduces the hovering point selection optimization problem. I have selected the optimal subset of hovering points, which we prove to be NP-hard. So here it says what we propose and what is the technical contribution. To efficiently solve HPS, we propose drone, an epsilon greedy reinforcement learning heuristic. Additionally, we introduce fast drone, leveraging information theory for rapidly hovering point selection. Missing data from the remaining sensors are inferred using machine learning techniques. And so here we have completed the technical part of the paper. And now we can move to the results. Evaluations on synthetic and real agricultural dataset demonstrate significant performance improvements with results showing up up to 3x enhancement in data collections efficiency. And here we have covered all the important components of the abstract. ChatGPT provides another small paragraph that is optional. Often I do not see it in papers, but if you want, you can keep it or you can just remove it. And it says this framework offers a scalable and cost-effective solution for precision agricultural applications, addressing the limitation of existing methods and advancing agricultural data collection methodologies to optimize crop management and increase agricultural productivity. So this is kind of a, a rephrase and summarization of why this problem is important and why what we propose is important. It's not necessary to keep it there. You can remove it, especially if you have limitations in the number of words that you can use in the abstract. I hope this video was useful and let me know if it was in the comment below. Thank you very much and see you next time.